We know zombies as creatures that return from the dead. While those monsters occur in fictional horror stories, you can find some real-life counterparts in the animal kingdom. They're called Lazarus Taxons, which is a reference to the biblical character that arose from the dead. In paleontology, the term is applied to a group of organisms that disappears from the fossil record, then reappears at a later point in time. During those periods, the missing creatures are often presumed to have died out or gone extinct. That's how some animals can seemingly return from the dead when they're later rediscovered. Tell us what you think about these 20 animals that would not go extinct. Manito del Monte. The animal's name is often interpreted as the little monkey of the bush. It's a tiny marsupial that's native only to the forested highlands of Chile and Argentina. At the time it was initially described in 1894, this critter was thought to have been extinct for some 11 million years. Scientists say it's more closely related to Australian marsupials than to others in South America. And it's probably related to Australia's earliest known marsupial, which dates back around 55 million years. Large Build Reed Warbler. By many accounts, this is the least known bird in the world. It was identified from a single specimen that was collected in 1867 and was believed to be extinct. But a population of the bird was found in Thailand in 2006. Researchers matched their DNA to that of the original specimen. The birds still remain a mystery even today, and their population may be shrinking. San Lorenzo Harlequin Frog. These animals are endemic to Colombia and are known from only four locations within an isolated forest region. A lethal amphibian fungus that swept through Central and South America was thought to have decimated the species, and many experts labeled them as extinct. But in 2006, researchers rediscovered these harlequin frogs living in a nature reserve along the Caribbean coast of Colombia. That was the first time in 14 years that living specimens had been documented. By most accounts, the frogs were unharmed harmed by the disease, but they're still listed as endangered due to habitat loss from logging and agriculture. Gilbert's Potoroo. It's a small marsupial that resembles a kangaroo and was first discovered in 1840. At the time, naturalist John Gilbert thought the animals could be commonly found, but after a few sparse reports, they seemed to disappear. It wasn't until 1994 that the Potoroos were rediscovered in the Two Peoples Bay Nature Reserve in Western Australia. In fact, that's the only place in the world where you can find them. Did you know this is regarded as the world's rarest marsupial? Its population totals a mere 70 individuals. Giant Palaeus earthworm. These creatures have an albino appearance and can grow to more than three feet long and burrow down as deep as 15 feet. After being discovered in 1897, the giant worms were declared extinct in the 1980s, but three specimens were uncovered, the most recent in 2005. Certain individuals were said to emit a scent similar to lily flowers when handled and spit in self-defense. The ghostly invertebrate animals are found in Idaho and eastern Washington state. Laotian Rock Rat. This species was first discovered for sale at a meat market in Laos. It was placed in its own family because it was considered so distinct and unusual from other living rodents. But that was just the beginning. After a systematic reanalysis in 2006, the animal was reclassified. It turns out the unique rodent belonged to an ancient family of fossils, believed to have gone extinct some 11 million years ago. Researchers have discovered additional specimens, suggesting the rock rat may not be as rare as originally thought. Chacoan peccary. Never heard of a peccary? It's an animal that resembles a pig, but cannot be domesticated. Based upon fossil records, the creature was first described in 1930 and was thought to be extinct, but researchers discovered an individual alive in 1975 in the Chaco region of Paraguay. Around 3,000 individuals are believed to exist today. La Palma Giant Lizard. It was thought to have been extinct for five centuries before being rediscovered in 2007, and some sources still list the animal as extinct. The lone individual located was around four years old and measured about a foot long. Expeditions to the Canary Islands La Palma region are being planned to search for a breeding population. 
Cuban Selenodon. This animal is so rare that only 37 individuals have ever been caught. Although first discovered in 1861, no specimens were located from 1890 until the mid-1970s. It was most recently sighted in 2003. Did you know the Selenodon has saliva that is toxic, making it one of the world's rare venomous mammals? South Island Taki. This odd-looking flightless bird is native to New Zealand. After the final four known specimens were taken in the late 19th century, it was thought to have gone extinct, but the creature was rediscovered in 1948 near Lake Ano. About 300 individuals are estimated to exist, so they're still classified as endangered, but experts say their numbers are growing by 10% each year. Yellow-tailed woolly monkey. Recognized as one of the world's rarest monkeys, this new world species is endemic to Peru. At more than 25 pounds, or 11 and a half kilograms, they're also one of the country's largest endemic mammals. The common name refers to their long, yellowish prehensile tail, which is powerful enough to support the animal's body weight. Along with being one of the rarest primate species, these woolly monkeys are also one of the least known. Naturalists first described them in 1812, but that was based on a skin sample found a decade earlier. No living animals or preserved specimens were ever documented. With no confirmed sightings for more than a hundred years, this species was presumed to be extinct. But they were rediscovered in the mid-1970s, when researchers found a juvenile specimen being kept as a pet in northern Peru. Arakan Forest Turtle This rare species of turtle lives only in the Arakan Hills of western Myanmar. As a semi-terrestrial turtle, it can survive in aquatic and terrestrial habitats alike. This creature was last seen in 1908 and was thought to be extinct, but it was rediscovered in 1994 when specimens showed up in Asian food markets. Despite their low population, the turtles are still traded by animal pet dealers and are critically endangered. New Caledonian Crested Gecko. This species was long feared extinct and was originally described in 1866. After a tropical storm in 1994, this unusual gecko was rediscovered. Among its strange features are a crest that runs from each eye to the tail and hair-like projections located above the eyes. The gecko is native to South Province, New Caledonia. Dinosaur Ants it's still unknown exactly how widespread this species truly is. They're found in the cool woodland regions of South Australia, but they were first discovered during a field research project in Western Australia in the early 1930s. It wasn't until 1977 that a solitary specimen was found in the town of Puchera in South Australia. That location was about 810 miles, or 1,300 kilometers, from where they were originally discovered. La Gomera Giant Lizard. These animals are considered to be be true lizards and can measure half a meter long. This species is native to La Gomera, one of the Canary Islands. By 1985, they were thought to have gone extinct, but Spanish biologists found six living individuals in 1999. Today, the creatures are listed as critically endangered. Ferdinanda Island Galapagos Tortoise. These reptiles are native to seven islands of the Galapagos and are easily identified by their enormous domed carapaces. They can weigh upwards of 920 pounds, or 417 kilograms, and measure more than six feet, or 1.9 meters. So it's no surprise that they are the world's largest extant tortoise species. Found on the island of Ferdinanda, only one male specimen has ever been documented. That was in 1906. After that, that, no confirmed sightings of this species were recorded. Wallace's giant bee. Found in several islands of Indonesia, these insects were first documented in 1858, and true to their name, they're thought to represent the largest bee species yet described. The largest species can reach one and a half inches, or 38 millimeters long, with a wingspan of two and a half inches, or 64 millimeters. For a better visual, they're about the size of an adult's thumb. Given their size, they'd seem hard to miss, but the bees were thought to have gone extinct for more than a century until they were rediscovered in 1980. Caspian Horse. This breed of small horse is native to northern Iran and is thought to be one of the oldest horse breeds in the world, with remains found that date back to 3400 BCE. Its original height was estimated at 36 to 46 inches, or 91 to 117 centimeters. These little equines seemed to vanish from history after 700 CE and were presumed extinct, but the animals were rediscovered in 1965 in Iran and seemed to have survived relatively unaltered. 
Coelacanth. This creature was thought to have gone extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, some 65 million years ago. But in 1938, this extinct order of fish was rediscovered off the coast of South Africa. They're among the oldest living jawed fish believed to exist, and serve as the epitome of a Lazarus taxon. They're known to swim over 500 meters deep, grow to over six feet long, and weigh around 200 pounds. Did you know this creature first appeared in the fossil record more than 400 million years ago? Lord Howe Island Stick Insect. It's considered the rarest insect in the world, and they were thought to be extinct since 1920. It was rediscovered in 2001 on a small islet of Ball's Pyramid. Located in the Pacific Ocean, it's the tallest and most isolated sea stack in the world. Less than 30 individuals were located living underneath a single shrub there. Did you know this stick insect can grow to 15 centimeters long? That's why they're sometimes referred to as tree lobsters. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.